thank you for joining me. Um, so this is our one of the questions from dynamic programming series, a very popular question to be asked in Google interview. So it's a 276 from this code and it is titled paint fence. So here we have and we have a fence that has n posts and each of the posts can be painted with one of the key colors. And the condition is that we will paint the post such that no more than two adjacent posts have same color. So let's say we have three posts and we have choice of two colors, k is equal to two. So we can paint them like this. We can have 001, 011, 110, 010, 101, 100. That's the first total cases. And here we can see that whenever we move from one to the next post, we have two choices. We can use the same color like 00. Or we can use a different color like zero one. And similarly for next, so for the third pillar, we can use a same different color like zero to one, or we can use the same color one to one. And this is our two main important concept of this question. So we use two variables, same and diff, to, to account for this pattern. So same accounts for the so we will first try to think of sub problems for this question. So let's say you have just two pillars in the beginning. And so number of times you can paint this using the same color for the new second pillar is the first one. So we have one, one or two, two. So here the same is same means using the same color on the second one is the first one. It means we have total of key choices for this case. And for the case when we want to use a different color on the second one than the first one, so we have k choices for the first, and we have k minus one choice for the second. So diff is equals to k into k minus one. Clearly, when we have just one pillar, we can only paint any of paint this pillar with any one of the k colors. So for n is equals to one, we have just k number of choices. When we move from two pillars to the three pillar, now we, there are two cases. We can paint the third pillar the same color as the second pillar or we can paint the third pillar a different color than the second pillar. So this account for the two variables, same and different. So let's say we paint the third pillar same as the second pillar. So in this case, we will repeat the color of the second pillar to the third one. But we know that the color cannot be repeated more than twice. So in this case, it means that the first pillar has a different color than the second pillar. So this corresponds to the diff case for the n is equal to two. So n is equal to two is the previous step. So we had one, two, and then third becomes two, and we have two one, and then third becomes one. So we see that whenever we keep increasing the number of pillars, the same variable is updated to the previous diff variable. This is a very nice and simple observation. And now what happens to the diff variable? So diff means the third one has a different color than the second one. It means that we can choose any of the key minus one colors for the third variable where one of the colors is already chosen for the second one. And now in this case, the first pillar can have the same color as the second one, or the first pillar may not have the same color as the second one. Because we have any way, the third is different than the second, we can have same or different color on the for the second last and the, the third last element. So in this way, we add the same and diff variables from the previous step for n is equal to two, two pillars. And now we have k minus one choices for the third pillar, which is the same plus diff into k minus one. So this is uh, the observation. Now we will just code it up. So we have our pattern call. We have def we have function number of ways which takes n and k which are both integers so obviously zero or positive integers so if n is equal to zero that is number of uh, post is equal to zero we return zero when number of post is equal to one we return k which is the number of colors we have and now we initialize the value of same and diff corresponding to two pillars so same is k because we can paint both pillars with any of the k colors and diff is a new variable. It means we can use the different color on the second pillar as compared to the first one. So it becomes k times k minus one. And now for here onwards, we use a dynamic programming where we make a loop variable 
well loop variable where this is uh, going from i in range of three comma n plus one so from three to n we will go and the range three comma n plus one will go from three four five six two until n so we see that the new same variable is updated to the previous diff variable and the diff is given by same plus diff into k minus one which we described later here here on we see that the the number of times we can have same color on the new pillar added in this step is same as the different with the variable from the previous step and the, for the different color on the new variable we add the same or different from the layer combination and there is k minus one times because we have given some choice definitely it is not depending on the number of n obviously it depends but it's just being updated and we return the same n plus if this is the final value so here you see for n is equal to 3 i try to write the expression so same will be the diff from n is equal to 2 which is k into k minus 1 and the diff will be the sum of diff and same which is k plus k into k minus 1 becomes k square minus k plus k so it becomes k square times k minus 1 and for n is equal to 4 we have so we have to add these two variables together for the answer so we have k cube minus k square plus k square minus k so k cube minus k so if we have three the this one same plus difference and for n equals to four we have the same is k square the sum is the um, same is the old diff so it becomes k square into k minus one and the diff becomes the sum of same plus diff into k minus one so it becomes k k square minus one so that is it and uh, well i think uh, this uh, the for k is equals to two and n is equals to three if we put two so two cube will become two square two to the four to the eight h minus k which is two which is six so some of these two values for n is equals to three will be six so which is which we have uh, represented here our first example so i suggest you to play with this example a few times before everything becomes a crystal clear thank you uh, for watching this video and uh, please subscribe my channel if you liked it